I'm going from light to darkness in Minecraft. But I'm gonna need to go to the darkest place in Minecraft first. So let's begin our journey into darkness. Okay, so step one is to enter the void's darkness, which we're gonna have to go down this cave and break bedrock. So to break bedrock, we need the following items on the screen right now, which starts with some wood. All right, before I go down, we need some sand for the TNT. That should be good enough. And a little bit more wood. Now let's go down the cave. We gotta go all the way down to bedrock, but on the way, we gotta get some coal and iron. That'll be enough coal. Now we just gotta go a little bit more down. This cave is actually insane right now. Holy, it goes deep. Get some iron too, because we need some pistons and diamonds. All right, get some coal too. And with this, we can go make a furnace and cook the iron. Got the iron and we got the pickaxe. All right, now that we got the iron pick, let's actually go deeper. Okay, this cave is definitely opening up. How do I get over there right here? Let's jump down. Okay, not take fall damage. Oh, we got redstone. Thank you very much. And oh, I should probably not head there, but we're trying to head to bedrock and it's on the way. Is this going to spawn a warden? I think we'll be fine, right? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, is that bad? Um, I'm going to run. I'm going to run. Oh, no, 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 no. We literally just started. We need redstone and diamonds. Okay. We got the redstone. There we go. And we found some diamonds. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Wait, what is this diamond vein? Holy. Very good start. This should be more than enough for the obsidian that we need. And oh my, I've never seen a diamond vein this big. What the heck? Okay. I mean, eight diamonds. Don't really see these that often. But now we have a diamond pickaxe. And let's go ahead and make one bucket. That being said, I need bread. Well, let's grab this quick. Now we're good to make some pistons. Let's go ahead and type in piston. Get that going. And we're going to need two in total. That's done right there. Let's get one lever also. There we go. Because we've got to break through bedrock. And you guys will see what I mean. And now we need obsidian. Let me get that water. There we go. And now for some lava. Or diamonds. Diamonds works too. Okay. Let me grab that. Oh, even more diamonds on the left. What the heck? I don't even need that many diamonds. Grab you two. Thank you. And now we got some lava. Put down the water bucket. And now we got the obsidian in three, two, one. And it's gone. Oh, and more diamonds. Let me real quick go up there. Thank you. And so now we got three out of the five things. We're all all we need now is one of these. Let's real quick make one trap door or two trap doors. There we go. And all that's left is TNT. Wait, hold on. I hear a lot of zombies right here. Could this be a spawner? Oh, it is. Yo, okay. So hold on. Is there gunpowder in the spawner? Let's real quick ignore the zombies. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to be jumping into the void very soon because apparently that's what I got to do. Uh, okay, let me grab that. Oh, no, no gunpowder right there. We need to get string though. Come on, have gunpowder. Oh, and it does. 11 gunpowder. Perfect. And a golden apple, which we don't need. All right, let me take these guys out. This is bad idea. This is a very bad idea. Why are there so many? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, let me break that real quick. And now we're good. My goodness. And so now with the gunpowder, let's real quick finally make some TNT where we don't need one, but two. And now we have everything to break bedrock. All this stuff right here. And all that's left is to go straight down. Taking straight down, which we shouldn't do in Minecraft, but it's all good because we're going to the deepest point we can. Oh, that was quick. Okay, we already found bedrock. Okay, so give me one sec, guys. I got to find the perfect little setup at the deepest point of bedrock. Oh, and this is already getting close to what we need. All right, one sec. Okay, now for the fun part. How we're gonna break obsidian is by first placing a piston here, putting some TNT right there, get some mossy cobblestone, that's not really required, and now finally one obsidian right here, which we only needed one, not two, and then a trapdoor right here. So, this looks very weird, but how this works is when I crouch right here and then place a piston here, it glitches and breaks the bedrock right under. So, I did some practicing, and first, we gotta go to our keybinds and change this thing to anything else, because we're gonna be holding that. And now, good thing we got the golden apple. Let's eat that, just in case, and get in position. All right, we go down. And then I place the piston here. Oh, did it work? Okay, if it worked when we break this, it's a hole. Yes, it worked. And so now we've broken bedrock. And I guess this is the darkest point in Minecraft. Let me heal up real quick. And without further ado, here goes nothing. Here we go. Oh, darkness. Oh, we're rising up. Yo, oh, we're going up. Oh, what? the heck it just happened? Oh, we now have a darkness bar. And step two is enter the temple. And so now our goal is to turn off the lights. So we're supposed to bring darkness? Oh, hold on. Okay, so every time we bring a torch and stuff, it's turning off the lights. So let's make everything as dark as possible. Hold on. Let me break that real quick. And I assume we got to make the bar go all the way up. Oh, and what about the frog lights? Oh, that's one too. Okay, let me break as much as I can here. Get this out of the way. That's 15 done right there. And probably all the roof lights too. So what we need to do for that is get some of this tough and let's block off the entire room. Let me get some wood first. Okay, now that we got a little wood, we can do the rest of this, and oh, wait, damn, is this torch? Oh, and now it's just blocked the room. Okay, so let me real quick go all the way up here. Now, let's just get all the light out of here. Not sure I'm gonna break this one, so for now, let's just keep it inside, and we just gotta make sure to make this room as dark as possible, so no light sources at all. I assume that's gonna open up this. Okay, we're almost done blocking off here, and we're good. Let me also break this glowstone right here. Don't want this to be here. Get that out of there, and my goodness, there is so much light, and we're almost done. 
Just gotta get this last part. Okay, I think we kind of did what we could. Let me close the door. Oh, I think we did something. Everything just got a little bit darker. Now we gotta decorate the temple in these spots. Um, do I just put a random block in there? Like obsidian? Oh, that works. Uh, what about here? And that works too. Let me go ahead and do these two spots too. Why not? There we go. And now we gotta break the end gateway up here. Oh. So this is definitely a light source and to break it, we need the following items on the screen. All right, to make some more darkness, let's get some mushrooms. All right, this is exactly what we need right here. And we already got three of the red mushrooms. Very nice. Now we need a bone. Mr. Skeleton. Let's real quick get the scout out of the way. One bone, please. And there we go. Three should be enough. Now let's go back. All right, now that we're back, all we gotta do is real quick place dirt right there and then put two to the right and then we put a red mushroom here. Hold on, why won't it let me place it? Oh wait, we need darkness for it too. So if we do this correctly, let me real quick put all the darkness we can up here. All this just break that. There we go. Can I place it now? No, not yet. One, two, three, four. What about now? And we did it. Yes, okay. And so now we just grow it. One, two, three. And that's awkward. Let me get some bones real quick. This is what we need. Also, first time seeing a mangrove. This is actually pretty cool. Alright, don't mind me. Let me go inside real quick. And these always have lots of bones. So let's real quick dig all the way down. And all this just to grow a mushroom. Oh, reptile one. Actually pretty rare. And really only six bones? Okay. Oh, good. Because with that, we have now 18 bone meal. Alright, let's go back. Okay, before we do this, I made the roof a little higher. Figured out that it wouldn't work like this. So would it work now? Oh! Wait, so did we complete it when we break it? Yes! And now with that being done, that should be dark enough on the temple. And did we do everything we need to go inside? Oh, and what's going on now? Oh, it opened! Yes! Now we can finally enter the temple. The heck is this? So we have easy difficulty darkness, medium, which is closed, hard, and then finally nightmare. Oh gosh. All right. Well, our bar is literally at the start right now. So let's see what the first darkness challenge is with easy. Do I just go in? Oh, step one, make the village dark. Okay. So it's a simple one. Oh, well first let's remove all the lights. We are going to make literally the sun gone by the end of this. All right. Don't mind me. Going to break all the lights we can. Also, what the heck is this house? Um, a bit weird, but I guess we'll come back there later. And now let's do a torch breaking montage. Watch this. Oh, wait, what the heck is this? Opens when village reaches full darkness. Oh, all right, well, I'm bringing that to you. Back to breaking. Another one done. And in the meantime, let me go ahead and steal some of this. There we go. Get myself an iron sword. Back to breaking. And finally, the last one. Let's up the darkness and now block the sun. Huh? Wait, like build a giant roof? Oh, gosh. Oh, wait, we have glass right right here. Oh, one coal for a dark glass placer. Wait, how does this work? I just like right click it. Oh, that makes sense. Hold on. So if we go all the way up. We're about to make the biggest glass roof. Let's go up to like Y100. Now this works. Let's go make the ultimate roof. So we're just going to cover the entire village with a dark tint. And this should make, I guess, the darkness increase. Oh, wait, the bar's going up. Holy, this is OP. Okay, halfway done, guys. Guys, we're almost there. It's got one more part of the village to do. And can't forget about the little temple thing. And wow, we actually made pretty good progress. Okay, almost done. All right, that should be good. Oh, and it's done. Step two, brew a splash potion. Wait, what the heck is this? Shadow shears. Oh, so we got a brand new crowd on the screen right now where we need the following things of an empty water bottle, a shadow, and gunpowder. I got none of that. Let me real quick break through here. Fall all the way down. And so how do I get a shadow? Do any of these moms have one? Oh, wait, the cow has a big shadow. Do I just like take it from him. And we got the cow shadow. Okay, we got pure shadow right there. And now we need a water bottle and some gunpowder. All right, all I need to do is get a little bit of sand right here. Just three right there. Get the furnace, cook the sand, and we wait. Grab the glass, get the bottles made, and now we got one water bottle. Now to kill a creeper. All right, buddy, get over here. Okay, let's make sure he doesn't blow up. Oh, I'm so bad at this. No, nothing. Attempt number two. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Ooh, yes, gunpowder. And so now with this, we just gotta get water bottle, gunpowder, and then shadow. I'm so dumb, guys. It was an empty glass bottle. And Anyways, now we have the Splash Potion of Darkness, which uh, splashed on mobs, apparently. All right, so we're bringing the mobs into darkness. Let's go back. Oh, that's crazy. It's like a big old cloud up there. Our darkness meter hasn't gone up, though, yet. All right, so how does this work? Do I just throw on the villager? Oh, they're now darkness villagers. And do they trade? Oh, they do. We can now get shadow seeds and shadow carrots. Nice. All right, so we're pretty much just making them blue. Let's real quick splash everyone then. And that's the last one. Now let's get the carrots and the seeds for the trade. So let's get those seeds right there. 10 seeds. Oh, and all the carrots we need. Come on, carrots. Oh my gosh, wait, they all broke at once. 28 should be good. Now we trade. I'm so dumb. It was apples, not carrots. But we can get the shadow seeds at least. All right, let's get some apples. Let's go ahead and do that. That's our first apple right there. Now we got 11. Where is the villager? I think it's this guy right here. There we go. Now we got the shadow carrots. What do the shadow carrots do? No idea. But we can try the shadow seeds. Oh, plant the darkness. Okay, let's go ahead and make them just a normal stone hoe and do 
do we just plant it in a really dark area? Maybe it's like the opposite. Oh, it's growing. Hold on. So if we make a little farm right here, we can plant all the shadow seeds and the crops are rising. Wait, why is it 40 now? Hey, hey, don't walk my crops. Really? Really? So do I just grab them now? Oh, okay. So now I can real quick grab them. All right. That's that done right there. But we need to make a bigger farm. So why don't we replace this farm right here? Get the normal crops out of the way. And now with the shadow seeds, we can plant all of them. We need more seeds. So now we wait. And now it's ready. Let's grab all this. And I think we just got to plant 10 more, which should complete it right here. Nice. And now make dark food. Hold on. So do I use a dark wheat and we make dark bread? Hey, okay. So we can consume the darkness. All right. So do I just eat it? Okay. Now step five, defeat the golem with the dark golem. How do I get a dark golem? Oh, wait, we got a picture for it on the screen right now. We need a pumpkin and some gold blocks. So let's go mine it real quick. Let's get the coal, which is actually a little bit ironic since coals are used for torches. So I don't know why this would be a dark golem, but I guess it works. We need a lot of it. And that should be perfect. Now we just need a pumpkin. All right, let's get one pumpkin. And now we just got to make the coal blocks. There we go. And with the pumpkin, I guess this will complete the next step. All right, there we go. Oh, and we got the dark golem. Oh, they're fighting. Go on. I think my golem's winning. Oh, we did it. Now step six, enter the darkness well. Oh, and so now we can finally go inside. Hopefully this actually ups the darkness meters. Let's finally go down and see what we have down here. Find a way. Okay, what am I finding a way for? Or just like go through this place? Let's just parkour around then. What we need to find is probably an exit to this. This place is really flooded. I mean, it makes sense because it's a well, but where the heck am I supposed to go? With the blocks, it helps me know where I've gone and where I haven't gone. Oh, I think this might be the right way. It keeps going. Oh, what the heck is this? A darkness artifact. Hey, do I right-click it? Oh, a bar went out and we're back. All right, so did we change? Oh, yo, we have a little darkness thing on us now. Oh, that's sick. And now that easy's done, we got medium open. We got two more to go there right there that are closed, but let's go ahead and get into medium then and see what happens. Where is it taking us now? Enter the cave. Don't know where this is going to lead me, but it's right by the dark village now, so let's see what we got going on here. Looks like a pretty normal cave. Anyone in there? Hello? Are you guys subscribed to tutorial? Did you know 80% of people watching right now are not subscribed? Just saying. Oh, and we have a thing that says place the darkest blocks. Oh, so to open the bedrock, we got to place the four darkest blocks, which I have a list right here, which are black concrete, coal block, obsidian, and polished blackstone. We have the coal block, so let's put the coal block there. That's one done. All right, before anything, let's go get a squid. Come on, give me one ink sack. Oh, we got it. Nice. Now we just need four sand. One, two, three, four, and some gravel. One, two, three, and four. And so now with these, all we got to do is put four here, one ink sack, then the gravel. And does that not work? Wait, I'm done. We need black dye. Okay, so if I do that now, there we go. Black concrete powder. Okay, now that's done. Now we get some obsidian. Oh, this is handy. All right, real quick. Let's grab this. There we go. That's going to be item number three. So we got the black concrete powder, the obsidian, and now we got to go to the nether, which won't be too hard. All right, let's make a portal. Now we just do this over and over again. One, two, number three, and finally number four. Now the rest. Final piece right there. And is that good? I think that might be good. Oh, in the chest. Please be a flint steel. Fire charge. Yes. Okay, now we should be good, except this piece right here. All right, final thing. We put that there. Then we stick that there. Now we should be good. Hey, we did it. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, now that we're in, all we need is blackstone. Is this it? Nope, that's basalt. Is this blackstone? It is. Okay, wait, so we just need four of this. Let me get that real quick. Oh my gosh. Let's do it a little bit safer over here. One, two. And now with the blackstone, this should be it. There we go. Four polished blackstone. So that's all of them done. Okay, before we die, let me real quick get a golden apple. And now let's go back. All right, here we go. One polished black stone, one obsidian, and then black concrete powder. And does it open? Oh, here we go. Oh, we're good. What the heck is this place? Oh, yo. Pull the levers to open the path. Wait, what? Like this one right here? Open lever. Oh, and it opened it. Oh, wait, but it's green, yellow, red. So do they come back? Oh, there they are. Okay, let's be a little quicker. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, it's lasers. Okay, let's do the next one. Oh, my gosh. Cutting it close. Oh, okay. Let me just make sure not to touch the lasers. Oh, okay, I touched the lasers. We gotta be quick. Next one. I, I broke the lever. I broke the lever. I gotta press a new lever. Oh gosh. When in doubt, you make a new lever. There we go. Okay. Let me keep jumping. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, run. And yes. Barely made it. On to the next part. And now it looks like it's a greenery. Break all the lights all at once. How do I do this? Uh, maybe what well, we need cheers. All right. So here's the plan. We're just going to break all the vines, I guess. But as fast as we can. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All the glow berries are going to be gone. We can have no light. All right. Let's break all that. Okay. Almost done. Okay. Last one. And then we should be good. Here we go. And did that work? Oh, it did. And so now let's go ahead and get to the next room. What is this? Press levers don't get caught? Wait, get caught by what? Oh, hold on. We are sneak from those guys. Zombies, but I think with darkness. Let me real quick go up here. Press the first lever. There we go. And I think they aren't very smart. So let me just jump here and we're gonna just find all the levers we can. Oh, here's the next one. Let me press that and okay, pass by, pass by. Don't know what they do if they see me, but we're gonna just play it slow. Okay, just one more to go. And it's that one right there. Why is he guarding it right there? Let me go behind him. Okay. 
okay. They really are a little bit dumb. Finally, last lever. There we go. Okay, we're going through. We're done there. And now step five, complete the rail. Oh, it's these things. Hold on, there's some more rails right here. So we can just go ahead and place these guys right there. And it goes all the way up there. Okay, so they did give us some iron, so it's not too bad. Let's just grab these raw iron right there. And some redstone too, because we need some boosters. Okay, all we need now is just one mine cart. There we go. We'll put some normal rails right there. Get a powered rail right there. Start with a powered rail. And then this should be good enough for us to go all the way to the very end. Which needs one rail right there. Another rail there. Another one right there. Oh, we're missing one. Hold on. Now we're good. And now for the moment of truth. Oh, let's go. Oh gosh, I don't know if I have enough power. No. <laughs> all right, we can do a little bit better. Let me get more of these. Now this should work. I'm gonna put the minecart right there. Get on. Here we go. Oh, come on. Go up, go up, go up, go up. We're good. Let's get to the final side. Oh, and we have a darkness boss. Is this just a big old zombie? Hello? Okay, it's coming at me. All right. Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, let's make sure we don't get too many hits. I'm gonna real quick eat a golden apple. Okay, let's take this guy down. Couple more hits. And down it goes just like that. And we get the darkness sword. Oh, this thing is sick. Uh, what does it do exactly? Oh, all that's left is this chest. Do I just open it? Oh, it just ate me. What the heck was that? Okay, and now that we're inside, we get the pure darkness potion. Let me drink that. And are we gonna go up? Oh, the meter went up. Oh, and we're back. Oh my gosh. Oh, and we have another little darkness thing. Nice. And so now we have difficulty hard, which is open. And after this, it's just nightmare. So we're almost done. Let's go in. And now step one, find the deep dark. Oh, it, I think we found it already. Literally, it's straight ahead. Okay, so are we going to like an ancient city or something? Hopefully nothing bad will happen, but it's the deep dark, so we should be good. Any city? I don't see anything yet. Let's just go as deep as we can, I guess. Oh, and this is it. Okay. What are we doing here? Let's just walk up. I just go into the middle of it. it. Doesn't sound like there's any sensors. Oh, right there. Okay. Okay. Let's not make that detect us. Don't mind me. I'm going to see where they need me, which I think is maybe that way. Let's go straight this way. I'm going to head up real quick. Maybe the wardens won't detect me if I'm part darkness. On a chest. What do we got in here? An infinity bow and one arrow and a lava bucket. What is this for? Do I do something up there, maybe? Oh, step two, fix the redstone. Oh, wait, would that be under here? Oh, and there's a warden too now. Why is everything getting darker? Oh gosh. Okay, we got to fix the redstone right here. I think we're supposed to put in redstone itself here. Okay, that's two. Put in those there. There we go. And oh gosh, everything's getting darker, guys. The guy is getting closer. Fix that redstone there. Okay, wait, there's a redstone block right here I need. I'm going to grab this real quick. Get the block of redstone. There we go. I am not a fan of this darkness stuff. There we go. And one more. And we're good. And now we got to kill the warden. Oh gosh. Okay. I got the bow. Got the lava bucket. Oh, did the door close? Let me just break through real quick. Where is the warden though? Oh, there he is. Oh gosh. Look at this dude. What if I use the darkness sword? Oh, that doesn't do that much damage. Get him in lava. Yes, he's stuck. Let's real quick shoot all the darkness we can at the warden. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. That hurts. Okay. Golden apple. I'm pretty sure the darkness helps me combat it. Do that real quick. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, he's coming at me. And we got him. Oh, okay. And from that, we get one darkness flint. Is this for like a darkness flint and steel? Oh, it is. Maybe we use that over there. This, I assume, is a darkness portal then. I get why it's a hard difficulty thing now. Let me head up here. And what does it say here? Light the portal while music plays. Oh, I need the music disc. Where do I find that? Did I miss a chest? Oh, there's some chests over there. Oh, it's music fragments. Hold on. Let me go up real quick. And that was only one. Oh, the whole disc is literally right here. So we didn't even need a disc piece. All right, this should be good then. Let's go up then and light the portal. Okay, so we put the disc right here and then do I just light the portal? Oh, it's working. What's going on with me? Yo! Oh my goodness. What the heck am I becoming? All right. Well, looks like all of them are open now. Oh, and it's torches. So the only one not lit is this. All right, time for the nightmare difficulty, guys. Let's see what happens here. You're tired? Some sleep could help. Um, is it even nighttime? Oh, wait, what the heck's going on with the sun? Oh, and it's nighttime now. Let's go to this bed right here then. Did we just fall asleep? We just got teleported. Complete the trials. Oh, this is like a nightmare then. So we have north, east, south, and west. All right, first up, let's go north and see what is going on in here. Oh, turn lava dark with eight lava converters. The heck is a lava converter? Oh, maybe it's what these guys? Light enderman. Oh, it's like a one-it. All right, light enderman. Come over here. Let's real quick get the lightness. Oh, and these are used for a craft on the screen right now. Okay, so I think we need a few of these and we need some wood too. And why not? Good old diamond axe. Okay, so we just need a lot of planks. Okay, planks gone. Let's grab those. And now with the ender pearl, we make lava converters. Interesting. And now we use the eight lava converters. Do I just like right click? Oh, all right. Convert lava and oh, what the 
Uh, holy, okay. Darkness wins. Okay, now on to the next room. Now for the south room, this is gonna be another light room. Chop down the torch with the golden axe. Oh, okay, let me just grab this then. I made a diamond axe, but I guess that's not good enough. Because now we gotta make a golden one, which is gonna just be that. And where is it? Oh, there it is. Do I just hit it? Oh, come on. Let's chop. Chop the giant torch down. It looks like it's losing health, so we should be good here. Let's keep going. Oh, it looks like it's getting smaller. A little bit more. Now extinguish it. Oh, we need water. And we're done. Yes, that's gonna be the room complete. And it looks like the darkness is also taking over here. On to the next one. That's gonna be east. All right, so what light related thing is in this one? Turn off the torch. Break the sources. Oh, it's the redstone blocks. All right, so we pretty much just gotta slap these things. Boom, boom. Get this guy out of the way. And some of them are in hard to get places like this parkour. All right, let me do a few jumps. There we go. Get that guy out of the way. And only halfway more to go. Let's get you out of the way. Heading guy right here. There we go. And it looks like only two more parkour ones. I'm done with that one. Let's get that one out of the way. And second to the last one is up here with this parkour, which shouldn't be too hard. Oh gosh, there we go. And now that very last one. And room complete. Oh, and look at that happen. And now that's three out of four rooms done. Okay, so the only one we have left now is gonna be west. All right, let's see what we have in here. Oh, it looks like a parkour. Find the item to turn the squids dark. Oh, okay. Let me real quick then go through here because we have glow squids that give light and we want to make them into darkness squids. Okay, let's just go all the way to the end. All right, side jumps. Honestly, this parkour is not that bad. As long as we don't have skeletons shooting us, we should be good. Bit of a long one though. Almost there. Let's get to the chest and we're good. Darkness potion. Okay, so this is gonna turn mobs. Oh, it works. Yo, that's a weird potion. We pretty much drink it and then it shoots it. So far that's 13. Oh, and room complete. Now that should be all of them done. And so does another room open? Maybe we go to sleep again? Let's see. Oh, what's going on? Oh gosh. Ooh. Oh, the bar's almost fully done, guys. Wait, where are we now? Yo, it looks like we're 100% darkness now, but what now? Oh, wait, well, what's going on? Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, yo. Oh, there's a rocket. Are we going up to the sun or something? I go inside. All right, here we go. And oh, it's over in me. The sun. Wait, what? Oh, we're barely fighting the light dragon. Um, is this literally the final battle? I think it is. All right. Okay, so we're literally fighting on the sun with the dark sword. I guess let's just destroy the sun. Shooting the dark sword real quick. It's literally easy work right now. And that might be it, guys. That's gonna be the world turn dark. And now we are fully darkness. Well, with the sun becoming darkness, hope you guys all enjoyed it. Have a great one. And this video just like this one. Bye, guys.